Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the linear algebra. Today we will discuss about the rank of the matrix and the system of linear equation. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. So firstly we will define the, uh, what is the rank of the system and then we will try to solve the system of the equations like of AXB. When, under what conditions the system has the equations are. Any of the matrix A is said to be the rank R if it satisfies the following two properties. So a matrix whose rank is R if a matrix A has at least one minor of order R and determinant is a non-zero and all the other minors have the determinant zero. It is denoted by R of A or rho of A. For example, if you closely look about these three examples, it will be my 2 cross 2, it will be my 2 cross 3, it will be my 2 cross 4. So since number of the rows, how many maximum rows are there? 2, so the rank is either 1 or the 2. When you said that it's a rank of the matrix A is 1, that is R is my 1. When? If you find that 2 cross 2 determinant whose value is my 0. Because of any of order R plus 1. So what is the determinant of this 2 cross 2? It's a non-zero. So therefore the rank is my 2. In, if you find in the second example, if you look about that, uh, this is the minor of the 2 cross 2, it's a 0. But we need at least one minor uh, non-zero. Can you find one determinant whose this is non-zero? You can see here, what is the determinant of this? This is minus of 6, which is a non-zero. So it's a 2 cross 2, determinant of minor of 2. So we can say it's a rank is my 2. Can you see this one? Can you find the determinant of this? 2 cross 2, that's a 0. Can you find some another value? Say this, again 0 and so on. So if you find all those cases, you will get the determinant as a 0. What is the meaning of that? It means rank can never be the 2. So since rank can never be 2, it means the rank is a 1 of this. This is the first method you can compute the rank of the matrix. Another way is, this is highly recommended for you, is you can simply define the rank when you convert the matrix into the row reduced echelon form and then count the number of the non-zero rows. For example, if you look about these two matrix, these are the row reduced echelon form, how many number of the non-zero rows are there? So you can see there are the three non-zero rows, that's why rank is three. In this case, you can see this value is my zero. So how many no, number of the non-zero rows are there? It is my two, so the rank is my two. How you can convert the matrix into, into the row reduced natural form, we will see, you can see the last lecture, that is a row reduced natural form with the help of the shortcut tricks which is available at the channel name Dr. Harish Gurk. Once you are defining the rank of the matrix, then they are, they are used to solve the system of the equation Ax is B, where A is my M cross NR. What is the meaning of the unknown variable is? That is in terms of the X1, X2, X3 and so on. Or sometimes it is called as X, Y, Z and so on. Once you are defining this AX is B, depending upon the nature of this B, either it's a zero or it's a non-zero, we will define as a homogeneous and non-homogeneous. On this homogeneous and non-homogeneous, there are the two kinds of the solution exist. One is the consistent, second is the inconsistent. Inconsistent is also called as the no solution. Consistent means the solution exists. Solution exists is either in terms of the uniqueness or in terms of the infinite many. Under what conditions this system AX is 0 has a unique solution or infinite many solution under what conditions this non-homogeneous system has a consistent or inconsistent solutions. When you are finding this uh, this matrix A that is all, uh, called as the coefficient matrix when you find the determinant of this matrix if it is a non-zero or when you find the rank of the matrix and if it is equal to n then we will call as the unique solution and since it is a zero so we will call as the solutions as my zero. Otherwise, whenever the rank of the matrix is less than of the n or we can say that determinant is zero, then we will call as the infinite many solutions. On the other hand, how for finding the non-homogeneous solution, we will find the argumentary matrix A condition B and we will try to find the rank of these two matrix. Whenever they are same and if they are same is equal to the number of the variables, then we will call as the unique. Whenever they are same but they are not equal to the number of the variables then we call as the infinite many solutions and whenever the ranks are not same we will call as the no solution. This is the existence of the uniqueness theorem. Existence and uniqueness is there. That is the rank of the A and A by B must be same. Whenever it is same, whenever they are same and is equal to the number of the variables then we call as the unique otherwise called as the infinite many solutions. Whenever this condition not satisfy, we call as the no solution. 
let's look about the 9 to 10 examples are there in this video so that you may able to understand this simply so since it is clearly says that this system as the ax is equal to b which can be written like here since it is a a condition b are there we will define the a argumentrix b that is this value as my a this value is my b now your target is to convert them into the row reduce echelon form what is the property of the row reduce echelon form is you have to make this element to be a one since it is already a one so you can write like here if it is not one you have to divide this element now either you can use the elementary row operations like here or otherwise we will use the shortcut tricks as we discussed in the previous one earlier. what is that shortcut trick is you have to find the determinants over the box element so look at that this is the first row i can take the first element as a box so it means i have to find the determinant divided by one what is the property of that you have to find this value how you can find this value is you have to take these four values first value must be the box element the, and the other values are there what is the previous value of this position is one you have to take these two values in such a way from this table so that it form a box so you can clearly see is that from this element the, these two values are here now find the determinant of this make sure that the determinant start from the box element so it will be my 1 plus of 2 that is my 3 upon 1 is my 3 same for here what are the previous values my minus 1 box element is my 1 so you can see the box element is 1 previous value is my minus 1 what are the other two values are there 2 and 3 find the determinant start from the box element it is my minus 1 it is my minus of 6 that is minus 7 divided by 1 is minus 7 find this value 2 1 1 and 2 so 2 minus 2 is a 0 find this value what is the previous value is my minus 1 it's a 1 3 and 1 so it will be my minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 3 divided by box element is my 2 and similarly for here that's a 2 minus 9 divided by box element are here so once you are writing here once you are finding this value you will get this expression now what is the next step is once you are now you can to do repeat the step again and again make this value as a 1 how you make this value as a 1 you can divide this value by 3 now this value you can write as such now find these four elements again either by using the element to your operation or by using the box element now you have to make what is the box element is my 3 so this is my 3 what is the previous value is my here is 3 you have to take the two elements such that it form a box now find the determinant always start from the box element so what is that this is 9 minus 7 divided by 3 so it's my 2 by 3 same for here what is the previous value of this is 1 3 minus 1 0 so it's a 3 plus 0 is a 3 by 3 is a 1 same for the other you can compute that also how you can write this value you can simply since my box element is here so i can compute the r1 and r3 so what are the elements corresponding to the minus r2 and r2 so what are the previous value is minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 here is my 2 that's why you can write like this. similarly for here now you can make this value as a 1 divided by divide uh, divided by minus 7 by 3 now make them this value as a 1 write directly as a 0 and 1 there is no problem it means you have to need compute only two values what are the previous value of this is 1 so you make them minus 7 by 3 this is plus 2 by 3 divided by box element so what is that this is my 5 divided by 7 and so on. now can you compute the rank of the a rank of a up to here that is 3 what is the rank of the a by b that is complete again 3 both are same what is the value of the n how many x y z are 3 so since rank of a rank of a by b both are same and is equal to n it means it has a unique solution so what are the answers are there you can say from here x is 5 by 7 y is my 1 z is my 3 by 7 is the required now we can use this shortcut tricks to solve the others nine examples in a very quickly manner you can see this is my a x is 0 you have to reduce into the row reduce echelon form then find the rank of this matrix so firstly make them one it is already a one can you find this value quickly this is 4 minus 6 divided by box it's my minus 2 can you find this value quickly 4 minus 9 that is my minus 5 what is this value is 
टेन माइनस फोर्टीन माइनस फोर ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेंटी वन डिवाइडेड बाई बॉक्स एलिमेंट सो हाउ यू राइट दिस वैल्यू इज आर टू एंड आर थ्री आर टू माइनस वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस थ्री एंड सेवन सो यू कैन राइट एज थ्री एंड सेवन नाउ मेक दैम दिस वैल्यू एज ए बॉक्स डिवाइडेड दिस वैल्यूज बाय माइनस ऑफ टू दिस वैल्यू एज नाउ यू हैव टू कंप्यूट ऑनली द टू वैल्यूज इट विल हेल्प यू टू सेव योर टाइम इन द एग्जामिनेशन भी सो प्रीवियस वैल्यू इज माई थ्री सो यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए माइनस सिक्स प्लस ऑफ टेन डिवाइडेड बाई बॉक्स एलिमेंट सो इट्स फोर बाय माइनस टू इज माई माइनस टू नाउ मेक दैम दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन सो दिस इज ऑलरेडी ए वन सो यू हैव टू मेक दिस वैल्यू एज ए जीरो सो यू कैन राइट डायरेक्टली एज ए जीरो वट आर दी ऑपरेशन आर देयर यू कैन सिंपली राइट दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन आर वन माइनस इट्स अ प्लस टू ऑफ आर थ्री एंड आर थ्री आर टू माइनस ऑफ द फाइव बाई टू ऑफ आर थ्री आर थ्री वट इज द रैंक ऑफ दिस मेट्रिक्स इज अ थ्री सो सिंस रैंक इज माई थ्री सो इट मीन्स द सोल्यूशन इज माई जीरो जीरो एंड जीरो You have to find the system for the uh, consistent. So whenever when the system a x is b is consistent, whenever rank is same. So you have to make them as here. Firstly, make them as a one divided by three. So this is my box element. Can you find this value? This is my three. This is my plus four. So three plus four divided by here. So this is my seven by three and so on. Now make this value as a Diagonal as a, this value as a one divided by seven by three. Here, now this is my box element. Compute this value out there. This is my fourteen upon nine minus thirty two upon nine divided by box element. So it will be my minus eighteen upon nine. It's seven by three out there. So what is the answer of this? You can simplify that. You will get this answer. Now since there is a no non zero values out there, so can you find the rank of the matrix? Rank of the matrix is my two. Rank of the a by b is two, depending upon the value of this lambda. If it is a zero, then the rank is two, otherwise three. But we need the consistent solution. That is, whenever the both, when both the values are same, both the values are same only when lambda is my zero. So it means here. Again, you can see the rank are same, but it is less than of the n three. It means it has. it has infinite many solutions b so when it has infinite many solutions then the number of independent vectors are there n minus r what is the meaning of the n minus r is that is a one what is the meaning of that you can write this equation from here that is x minus 6 by 7 z is zero because it's a zero it's a y minus 8 by 7 z is zero and here now from these two values you can find uh, what is the n minus r is 1 so you can take either x either y or z as any of the value e either you can take 1 either you can take 2 or 3 whatever is there so let's say i choose the value of the alpha where alpha is my real number so from here you can see that i can take the value of the z as alpha then you can simplify value of the x easily and y also so solutions are my here find the value of this from uh, here you can see the system of the equations are there now you can convert them into the row reduce echelon form you can take this value as a box find this value another one this as a box or you can use the elementary operations when the rank of a and the rank of a by b is not equal so it will happen only when this value will be zero and this value is a non zero so that is here when for the infinite solution both are same but it must be less than 3 when will happen when this value is a zero this value will be a zero and for the unique solution both the values must be 3 it means this value must not be zero this is not be a zero r okay look at the others are there you have to convert them into the row reduce echelon form this is my a x is b your target is to make them as of the row reduce echelon form convert this as a one divided by 2 now can you find this value 2 minus 0 is a 0 2 minus 1 divided by box element minus 2 plus 1 and so on so you can write like here another one is you have to make this value as a 1 so since this is a non zero value so you can interchange the r2 and r3 r now make this value as a 1 you can divide here you can compute the values like what is the this value is this is a 1 
डिवाइडेड वन माइनस जीरो डिवाइडेड बाई टू इट्स हाफ इट्स माइनस वन जीरो माइनस हाफ एंड सो नाउ मेक दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन हाउ यू मेक दैम यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू ऑन बोथ साइड्स हियर नाउ दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन नाउ यू कैन राइट दिस वैल्यू एज दिस आर आई आर दे यू कैन कंप्यूट दिस वैल्यू अगेन बाई शॉर्टकट फिक्स लाइक ऑफ हियर दिस इज माई थ्री बाई टू दिस इज माई प्लस वन बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाई बॉक्स एलिमेंट्स इट इज माई फोर यू कैन सी दिस वैल्यू इज माई फोर नाउ दिस इज द रो रेड्यू सेक्शन फॉर्म वट इज द रैंक ऑफ द ए रैंक ऑफ द ए इज माई थ्री बी इज ए बाई ऑल्सो बी वट इज द एन इज एक्साइज आर माई फाइव सो इट मीन्स दे हैव इन्फाइट मैनी सोल्यूशन सो इट मीन्स दे हैज द टू अन नोन वैल्यूज आर देर इट मीन्स यू कैन टेक यू कैन राइड फ्रॉम हियर फर्स्ट वैल्यू इज एक्स वन इज वन सेकेंड इज माई एक्स टू प्लस फोर एक्स फोर माइनस थ्री एक्स फाइव इज जीरो एंड सो नाउ दिस टू मीन्स सिंस एक्स वन इज ऑलरेडी गिवन टू यू सो यू कैन चूज इधर एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एक्स फोर एक्स फाइव टू वैल्यूज कैन बी एनी थिंग बी सो यू कैन चूज एक्स टू एज एल्फा दिस एज ए बीटा और एनी ऑफ आर देयर सो फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन इजली सी इफ आई चूज एक्स फोर एज एल्फा एक्स फाइव एज ए बीटा वी आर बोथ आर द रियल नंबर्स देन यू कैन इजली फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ द एक्स टू एंड एक्स थ्री सो देर फोर द माई सोल्यूशन आर एक्स वन इज वन ऑलरेडी बी देयर एक्स टू एक्स थ्री एंड एक्स फोर वी आर एल्फा एंड बीटा आर माई रियल नंबर्स लुक एट दर वन आर देयर यू कैन फाइंड द सिस्टम ऑफ द इक्वेशन इफ पॉसिबल आर देयर अगेन दिस इज माई ए एक्स इज बी यू कैन सी वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द एन इज फोर बिकॉज देर आर द एक्स फोर मेक दैम एज ए वन हियर नाउ हाउ यू फाइंड दिस वैल्यू दिस इज अ जीरो माइनस फोर डिवाइडेड बाई बॉक्स एलिमेंट माइनस वन माइनस एट डिवाइडेड बाई बॉक्स एलिमेंट एंड सो ऑन सो इधर यू कैन यूज देयर एलिमेंट्री रो ऑपरेशन और यू कैन फ्लाई इट हियर मेक दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन डिवाइडेड बाई माइनस फोर ऑन देयर नाउ यू कैन कंप्यूट दिस वैल्यूज लाइक ऑफ दिस वैल्यू दिस इज माई माइनस सिक्सटीन प्लस एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय द बॉक्स एलिमेंट इट इज माई टू बाय माइनस फोर इट्स माई माइनस हाफ आर देर नाउ मेक दिस वैल्यू एज ए वन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर यू विल गेट दिस सिक्स वैल्यूज आर देर यू कैन इजली कंप्यूट दिस सिक्स वैल्यूज एज ऑफ हेयर नाउ अगेन रिमेंबर दैट हाउ यू कैन राइट दिस वैल्यूज आर देयर सिंस माई बॉक्स इज देयर माई टारगेट इज टू कंप्यूट दी आर वन आर टू एंड आर फोर सो वट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ दी आर वन इज माइनस हाफ सो माइनस माइनस प्लस हाफ दिस इज माई नाइन बाई फोर दिस वैल्यू इज माई माइनस माइनस प्लस सेवन फाइव फोर ड्यू टू दी आर थ्री सो यू कैन सी दिस आर द सेम एज दैट ऑफ हेयर नो वट इज द रैंक ऑफ दिस इज माई टू थ्री रैंक ऑफ ए इज माई थ्री rank of a by b is my 4 so they are not equal so it's a no solution look at the last example are there since this is again of the a x is b what is the n n is my 3 you have to write this into the row reduce echelon form can you find this value 5 minus 8 is a minus 3 and so on make them this value as a 1 can you find this value minus 21 Plus twenty-four divided by the box element. It's my minus one, and so on. So what is the rank of the A? Rank of the A is my two. A by B is also two. It is less than of the n infinite many solutions. So number of the independent variables are my one. It means you can write as a x minus z is one, y plus two z is zero. So either you can choose x. Since it is a one, you can choose any one of them as value of the alpha. so from here you can see if i choose the value of the z as the alpha then you you can easily find the value of x and y therefore my solutions are here provided alpha is my real so this the way you can solve the system of the equations with the help of the rank of them we will see some more videos in our next lectures till then you can simply follow this one subscribe the channel for more updated videos best of luck students happy learning